And I genuinely don't think that the scariest thing about the book was like the murders, the incest, the relationships, any of that. It was the fact that she used the word clitty. Ah, <sighs> this has been a long time coming. So last year I did a band forbidden excuse me sir of course last year i filmed a video called ban forbidden taboo reading vlog and in that excuse me do you just want to say hi mr dorian would like to say hi to everyone yes he's so wild and in that video i read five ban forbidden taboo books and it was a fun time i really liked doing that vlog i really liked reading some books that definitely pushed the boundaries my boundaries and just like i think societies in general and I really, really enjoyed myself doing that. And just over the last like month or two, that video has like really increased in views, at least according to my channel. Like I'm super small, like no one cares. But for me, that video has now like surpassed my Throne of Glass reading vlog and like everything else that I've done. And it's the most viewed video on my channel. And I was like, let me do a part two of that because I had already been planning on doing one down the road. But I was like, why not now while that one's like doing kind of well, let me go ahead and do another and see if people want to enjoy that one too. So that's what I did. I had a really, really hard time finding books to read for this one because I had an idea in my head of what ones I wanted to do and I had a list that I was gathering and almost every single book that was on that list that I wanted to read, I was not able to find. Like a lot of them had just recently been banned so I couldn't find them in paperback or ebook form. Then some of them that I wa did want want to read I could only find in paperback and the paperbacks were like $24 and I just didn't want to spend that much money on a book that I was like I don't know if I'm gonna love this so the three books that I ended up picking the first one is Unconditional by QB Tyler I had read Love Unexpected by QB Tyler in the first video and this one sounded just as forbidden and taboo is the last this one follows Maddie and Cal and Maddie and Cal's a police officer and he takes in Maddie after her parents can't take care of her anymore so he basically is her surrogate father and he takes her when she's like seven and then as she gets older some feelings develop and then the next one is r.i.p by charity b this is wild i think this might even be classified under horror i'm not completely sure this one follows a family who kill people and run a funeral home but also are like into each other and then the last one that I read was The Dare by Harley LaRue. And this one is quite a bit shorter. I think it's only maybe around like 150 so pages. Also a girl who goes to a Halloween party. She's out of high school, but all of the people there are like people that she's known from high school. And she was like a very popular cheerleader. And she runs into the weirdo that she used to bully. And they go back and forth in a game of Dare. And... It just kind of escalates from there. So those are the three that I'm going to be reading. So I'll insert all of the vlog footage here for the three of those. And then at the end of the video, I'll do my entire wrap up. I do just want to preface this before we jump in. I mean, as you can tell by the title, these are banned, forbidden, and taboo books. Like, I just want to say, if that is not your thing, if these push your boundaries too much, if these are not books that you're not interested in, there is like no, no harsh feelings. Like then these are not going to be the books for you. These are not going to be the books for everyone. And I totally get that. And stop playing with the blind cords and making noise, please. While I'm trying to make a serious point. I totally get it if you don't want to read these books and they're too much for you. Like no harm done. Like I don't want to tell anyone what they should or should not read. And I also don't want to be told what I should or should not read. Like the whole point of this video is to read some like out of bounds books. And that's what we're going to do here. And if that's not for you, then like literally no harm done. And if this video isn't for you, cool. I have other ones that are not like this. I just, I don't want to see any negativity or judgment around these books because yeah obviously they're taboo that's the whole point of this video so I just I've been seeing a lot of flack that like dark romance has been getting recently and even some comments that I've gotten on TikToks or videos where I've talked about the off balance series or forbidden and guys I don't think what you read is a reflection of you personally or what you would condone in real life because obviously all these books are not things that I would condone in real life but also I don't know why I should have to preface that like I feel like that should just be a given because it's fiction so anyways that's enough let's jump into the video first book I'm gonna jump into is Unconditional by QB Tyler so far I'm like 10% in I'm interested to see how it goes because so far 
Um, Cal, the age gap, I know it bothers some people. It really doesn't bother me. I'm liking it so far. Like I said, I'm only 10% in and just the way that it started, like absolute trauma for Maddie. So I am excited. I hope that we get into how she processed that over the years and how she's still dealing with that. I hope that we get to see that in this because I think that could be a really interesting journey to go on and how Cal raised this girl when he was only like, what, 23 or something? So I think it has, I don't know, I'm liking the bones that it's setting up so far. Okay, so I am 24% in to Unconditional. I'm on chapter six. And so far, I'm liking the story. I'm liking Maddie and Cal from what we've gotten from each of them. But here's my thing with this story, is that I'm on chapter six. The last chapter, they both just got each other off. And I'm just like, <sighs> I just wish it was a sl more slow burn for this relationship. It's something that I guess maybe QB Tyler, that seems to be a theme in her books is that her characters get together fairly quickly. And in books like first semester and second semester, that really works, I feel like with both of those stories. But with this, I just, I wish that it was a slower of a burn because I really think that that would pay off for this relationship. But yet again, they're not like, we're gonna be together. Cal is like, what the fuck just happened? So I feel like we're gonna regress a bit, which I'm hoping for, because I don't want to see them already be together this early on in the book. Like I want more of their relationship dynamic rather than already jumping them into like sex territory, if that makes sense. Just finished chapter six and we are actually definitely not slowing down or regressing whatsoever. It's full steam ahead, <laughs> literally. So I got to about like 54% of the way through Unconditional last night. And I mean, they are just really just going for it. Um, So Henry walked in and now he knows about them, but they haven't told anyone else. And Henry, ha say hi. And Henry hasn't told anyone else. So I'm just really anticipating this whole family reveal because that was one thing that I was looking forward to in Love Unexpected and we didn't really get that. We never saw the conversation that happened between Stasi and was it Dominic I think his name was and her grandparents. We that was like off the page and I was really looking forward to that. I'm like how is this going to go down that this man is going to show up to his in-laws and be like, "Hey, I know I was married to your daughter, but now I'm dating" your granddaughter. Like I was looking forward to seeing how that was all going to go down and we didn't get that. So I'm looking forward to this, to the absolute shitstorm that's going to happen. I'm assuming after this all comes out and seeing how that kind of ties up. So I'm hoping in this last half of the book that we get that, but so far it's been like a very quick, easy, enjoyable read. Okay. So maybe there's just not going to be some big explosion with the family. I don't know because Cal told his mom about, or she like guessed about him and Maddie and she's like cool with it, which is like cool, but also what? <laughs> Aria and Henry's reaction seems more um, authentic maybe to me than Margie's, but I don't know, we'll see how Christmas goes because they're all together and Margie and Henry know, but Arya doesn't and Grant, I don't think does. So hopefully there's some big explosion, some big drama because I'm waiting for it. I want it. Like someone's got to flip out, you know? Someone's got to flip out about this. I don't know if I loved this plot twist. I just finished. I'm going to save most of my thoughts for the end of this video wrap up, but I need to just touch on the Henry thing. I like it kind of because I love a moment of peril. I love a theatrical moment, but it did kind of come out of nowhere. Like there was one comment from Arya saying that Henry seemed vengeful and that was basically it. Like we knew that Henry didn't really like Grant, but there was just not enough there. I feel like for the amount of hatred and the extreme that he took it to, I think it could have been there if we would have just had more time spent in the relationship between Cal and Henry 
and maybe like Henry and the mom, like more conversations, seeing a more in-depth look at the past, getting more flashbacks maybe. I don't know. That's kind of my takeaway on that is I just wanted more out of this. It could have easily been, I think, an extra like 200 pages. But overall, I did enjoy it. But I'll save the rest of my thoughts for the end of the video. Okay, so I woke up this morning wanting to jump back into uh, my taboo world for this video because it's been a couple of weeks since I read uh, Unconditional. I woke up this morning just in a taboo mood. I was like, you know what, let's just like knock one of these out. But every single book that I've been planning on reading, like I can't find. So I am did some scrolling around on Goodreads. I found this book. I have never heard of it. It's called R.I.P. by Charity B. And it sounds like a taboo horror kind of book. Something about like a family that maybe like kills people, but it's also like a romance somehow. I'm assuming it's something to do between the brother and the sister. I don't know. But it sounds like from the Goodreads comments, I tried to keep them brief because I don't really want to know anything, but everyone was like, this is the most taboo shit I've ever read. And I'm like, that's what I want for this video. And it's on Kindle Unlimited, so it's not banned. But it sounds pretty taboo. So that's what we're going to go ahead and jump into. And hopefully it turns out good. I've never heard of this author, never heard of this book. So I'm excited. Literally just opened the ebook and already there's a trigger warning and it was just like this book contains many triggers i think i think i found a good one for this video <laughs> hmm what the fuck i'm three chapters into this book and i i literally i don't know what the fuck i'm reading <laughs> don't know and I don't I don't know how I feel about it yet either um it's wild wild so it's, it's this family and the mom can speak to the dead and the dad is a pastor so they see it as their mission to kill evil people like in the name of God now the two kids Malachi and Adriel are 13 and 14 and they just kill and Adriel just killed her first man and she's 13 and she loved it. She like went to town and it was very graphic. And I'm like, what the fuck? I, she's kind of fun. Like reading her chapter and her perspective. She literally took a sander to this man's head and she's like, I liked it when I got to the skull, but that was a little harder to get through until I got to the brain. And I was like, what the fuck? So right now, there is literally not a single hint at a romance whatsoever. So I don't know if this is just a straight up horror book, but people said it was taboo. And I don't know if that's because of like the killing. So I'm hoping that there's some sort of romance in this. And I, because I don't know, I don't really just want to read this if there's like none. And it's just this family killing people. So I'm going to kind of see how the next few chapters go. Okay, Adriel is giving me Sid vibes from Toy Story. Like if he grew up to be a killer. <laughs> like she makes these creations out of her toys where she takes different heads and different body parts and like puts them together to make creations. And it's just like, um, that's literally Sid. This is literally the most fucked up book I've ever read on so many levels. If you have any triggers this book like is not for you because so far it has been like one trigger after another like it's 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 wow all right so I am now like 30 percent of the way into R.I.P. and I I'm questioning if I want to keep going I hate DNFing books if you're new to my if this is like the first video that you ever watched of me if I start a book I'm like going to finish it I literally cannot really even think of a book that I've ever DNF'd. Like, I finish books. But this one, I'm just not... I just, I don't know how I feel about it. It doesn't really strike me as being, like, really romance-based. It's more just, like, what the fuck is happening here. I can't use my right hand to vlog because looky. Oh my god. 
sorry for my shaking hands. Oh my God, stop. So I'm not using my right hand and I'm gonna to try to be quiet here. So I have 15% left in this book and I'm so ready for it to be done. I knew going into this book that it said like a bunch of triggers and I haven't been like particularly triggered by anything. There have been animal deaths that I've just like skipped right on past because that's something that I don't want to read. But there's just so much shit in here where I'm just like, it's just, it's a little too much for me. Um, and that's okay. If you've read this book and you like this book, totally cool. Um, I'm sure some people, you know, genuinely like it. It's just not necessarily for me. It's a little too much. Uh, in the last chapter, Adriel gave herself her own abortion. But like maybe because she doesn't even know she was actually pregnant, one of her toys talked her into doing it. If you heard that out of context, that sounds odd. I finally finished. Thank God. I'll save all of my final thoughts for the end of this video, but I will just say I actually kind of liked how it ended. I thought that, uh, that the ending was actually kind of fitting and kind of a satisfying conclusion. So there's that. I will just say I don't even think I'm going to rate this on Goodreads because I don't think it was like a bad book. Like it wasn't poorly written by any means. It just... And like it was crazy like it went I'm I'm like I applaud the boldness I it was a mind fuck and a half and it is by far the craziest stuff I've ever read now with that said did I like it not really but I don't know like enjoyment wise I would not rate it very high but also I don't think that like overall it's necessarily like a bad book I just don't think it's not it's it wasn't one for me so I don't think I'm going to rate it because I genuinely don't know what to rate it. It's like Saw, but like an incestuous family. That's kind of the best way I can put it. <laughs> okay, I first off look rough as hell. I have a scratch here and a scratch. I know. I don't know how I got them. I think my kittens somehow scratched me in the middle of the night and I just didn't know it and I woke up with them, whatever. And I look rough because I am dog sitting for my parents. And so I've been back and forth, running back and forth all weekend. And it's just been, it's been a lot going back and forth between taking care of this one who's needy and the cats who are also needy. So it's just been busy. But I've been taking my Kindle along with because I want to get this Band Forbidden Taboo. Okay, bye. Video wrapped up here. Do you see that? Do you see that paw? <laughs> Hi. I saw this book today on TikTok and I was like, I'm intrigued. And it's The Dare by Harley LaRue, I think. And I was like, I'm intrigued by this. I'm intrigued. I didn't know that it was banned at all. So I went on Goodreads. I added it to my um, want to read. And then this afternoon when I sat down, I had just, I've been rereading the Off Balance series. And those are like some big books. So I was like, you know what? I want a little break. I want something in between. Let me, I know this one's like short. I think it's only like 180 pages. I'll read that. And I couldn't find it in the Kindle store. And I'm like, that's weird. So I go on Amazon and you can't find it on there either. And I'm like, is if this is a banned book, cause I'm just like, I'm in the mood to read this now. It is banned. I went to the author's website and I couldn't find it on there. And I was like, fuck, that's weird. So then I went to her Instagram cause I'm like, maybe I can figure out th it out there. Yep, it is banned on Amazon. And I'm like, that fits in with this video, bitches. Let's go. So I did find, I think it's on Eden Books. So I'm going to check and I think I'm going to try to get it off of there. And I'm just, I'm excited that I have another book for this one. And especially because it's not like another, I hate to be like, it's not another incest one. But, <laughs> but I feel like a lot of these like banned taboo books, a lot of the times end up being because of like some sort of deal with the relationship where I think this one just has to deal with the subject matter. I've successfully bought the dare. It was $3.99 on Eden Books, which I I don't know about anybody else, but I don't bat like an eyelash at that. I will buy, I don't know, like five, six ebooks, but then I'll sit there and debate if I want to buy like one $13 paperback. Why? Why do I do that? I don't know. First off, the warning for this I'm ready for honestly it's like I got a really long warning and then a entire section that lists out the kinks and fetishes within the book and there's a lot so I think this is gonna be very different than anything that I've ever read before 
but so is R.I.P. So it's really just about, this video is really just about new things, trying new things, so. Okay, I'm looking gross and I'm looking sweaty because I just got back from walking my dog and it's the next day from when I bought the dare and I had read part of it last night, but then I finished it this morning when I was over at my apartment and I really liked it. And also, I really just do not understand why this one was banned. Like, I genuinely don't. I read R.I.P. and that's on Kindle Unlimited. And I'm not saying that that one should be banned whatsoever because I do not think that books should be banned just because they talk about, like, taboo subjects. And I'm like, if, if you don't want to read it, then just don't read it. Like, there's no reason to ban it or work to get it banned. Like, there are plenty of other things that you can put your energy into than getting someone's book banned. So I'm not saying that RIP should be banned or unconditional should be banned, but I truly do not understand why the dare out of both of those books is the banned one that you can't find on Amazon at all. It's, they're all over the age of 18. It's all consensual. There's no like incest. Like there's nothing, there's not even an age gap at all like I don't like a lot of the typical things that you see books get banned for this doesn't have any of them it's just like you know a little kinky but like why are we banning shit just for that like if you don't like it then just don't read it that's that's my whole thing with this video is like if you don't like these books then just don't read them if it's not something that interests you I'm sure there are other books that do like no one's making you read something so just leave it alone Sorry for that little PSA, but I get like very passionate about that, especially when I see people shaming people for what they like to read, especially like dark romance. I'm like, why, why do you feel the need to put that negativity out there? I just don't get it. I don't vibe with it and I don't like it. And that's not something that I want to tolerate on my channel is anyone putting out bad energy towards anyone who just reads what they want to read. Granted, it's all a book. It's all fiction. Thriller people don't have to justify them reading about murder. Like, so why do we have to justify it? Reading romance? Anyways, tangent aside, that's all to just say, The Dare was by far my favorite one that I read. For it only being like 185 pages, I want, I, I would have taken so much more out of it. But I do think it was kind of the perfect length. It did everything that I wanted it to do. And it had plot. It had, I mean, did it have plot? It kind of had plot. But it had like character backstory. Like I need to be invested in the characters in order to buy into the story. And I was invested in both of these characters. And that's one of the problems that I have with shorter like novellas or sh just short books is that I don't get invested into the characters. But like these two, I wanted them together. And like I bought their connection. Like it wasn't just smut for it being like short and sweet you know or it wasn't even sweet i don't know i was into it vlog footage now done we're magically back so unconditional you caught a lot of my thoughts along the way in the vlog footage here um but overall i think i would rate this one about like a three three and a half out of five for just overall um stop no playing with the cords I'm sad because like I really really wanted to love it because I really like QB Tyler's writing and I've read some of her other books and I've I've always enjoyed them. I've never like felt like I'm pushing myself to finish it. I have always enjoyed them. However, there was just more that I wanted out of this and overall like I would probably rank it at, towards the bottom of my list in terms of the QB Tyler books that I've read. I wanted more time spent with Maddie and Cal and really like building up the tension between the two of them. And I really think that it needed to be a little more slow burn because when the book started, so obviously we get Cal and Maddie at the beginning of the situation, we see Cal taking Maddie in. Can y'all chill? We see Cal taking Maddie in and then it kind of like jumps ahead to now current day where they're both into each other. And I just kind of wish there was a little more like, can y'all just not? Do you see that? And so much, so many distractions lately when I've been filming and it's actually starting to drive me crazy between it. The cats, the garbage, the neighbors, like I just, I can't. I can't. I just wish that there was more time maybe like fighting the attraction and a little more of a slow burn aspect to it. And I wanted more build up. Can y'all fucking chill? And I wanted more tension where I felt like the tension was broken too quickly. And then some, some of the family members' reactions too, I was kind of like, what? <laughs> like some were like really chill with it and some were really not. And it was almost like the two opposite ends of the spectrum. And I thought there would be like a little more in between and there really wasn't that. There were some plot twists in here that I talked about that you saw with um, 
with like the brother-in-law that just were like, what the fuck? I don't know, it made for um, an exciting twist at the end, but also it kind of seemed to come out of nowhere a bit. And again, I think, if we, are you fucking kidding me? I don't even know, I've lost my train of thought completely thanks to the cats. Now they're playing with blind cords, those are gonna be loud. I swear guys, like I'm just, it's just my last draw today. <laughs> That overall, I just wanted more. I wanted more time spent with them. I think if the book was longer, it would have really benefited. And I think we would have taken more time then to build up that tension, kind of pepper in more little sprinkles of the brother-in-law being like super resentful. And, or was it the brother? Was it his brother or brother-in-law? I think that was his brother-in-law maybe. Or no, I think that was maybe his actual brother. Because then there was the stuff with the dad. Yeah, I don't know. It just all, mm, I don't know. It didn't necessarily work for me. And I had really high expectations for this one. So I am a little bummed. However, I still would recommend it. Like it is a good read. And I think I'm kind of in the unpopular opinion here because I do think that a lot of people really, really love this book. And I would say taboo level on this one. I mean, like, honestly, it's like taboo, but also I think maybe I'm getting a little desensitized. So I'm like, maybe I'd give it like a four out of five taboo level. Three and a half. Okay, now for R.I.P. by Charity B. I do, I'm like, why do we ban books? Why do you report books? Like, if you don't want to read it, just don't read it. Like, I, it's fiction. I don't really get why people report books and ban them. So I'm not saying that this one should be banned whatsoever. I'm just saying I am shocked that it's not banned, but then the dare is banned. I'm just like, I don't, I don't get that surprised <laughs> that it's still on Kindle Unlimited. Um, but I'm happy that it is. If you want to read it, go read it. Are you fucking kidding me? So as you saw in the vlog footage, this was the wildest book I've ever read. And I don't really see whatever book could top this. And while it was enjoyable for parts of it, I was like skimming towards the end. I'm sorry, the cats are now playing on their jungle gym and they're hitting the blinds. We're just pushing through this. I'm sorry for the last couple of videos where it's been noises in the background, but I'm over it and I gotta film and I'm not gonna wait for them to sleep. Didn't even rate this on Goodreads, and still in this video, I don't even know how to rate this book on a star rating. I would say Taboo Level is a five, um, but star rating, because here's the thing, I personally, my enjoyment of it was not very high. Um, I was entertained by it at the beginning, I was kind of intrigued, but after like about the 30% mark, I was just kind of over it. And I genuinely don't think that the scariest thing about the book was like the murders, the incest, the relationships, any of that. It was the fact that she used the word clitty. Ooh, it just, I couldn't do it. Oh, also I just wanna say, if you have literally any trigger, this book has everything. Like it had triggers that I didn't even know were triggers. I think my vlog footage of this one kind of said what needed to be said. And it was, it was, it was definitely a wild time. Okay, last and final book was The Dare by Harley LaRue. So this one is a banned one. You can't find it on Kindle or Amazon if you're looking. You do have to get it from Eden Books, I believe it was. But it's super easy to download if you're looking for an ebook. So this one, I am the most surprised that this one is banned. I literally don't understand why it's banned whatsoever. All of the characters are over the age of 18. There's no incest. There's no super large age gap. There's no really violence. So like... I genuinely don't get why this was banned, but whatever, it's banned. And I have to say this was my favorite out of everything that I read. I gave this one four out of five stars and I'd say taboo level. I'm putting it like a one, maybe just because it does include some like BDSM elements and the girl in it does become like a slave for the night. But again, it's like all consensual and like nothing ever goes over the boundary. So like genuinely, I don't know, I'm kind of baffled, but this was just right up my alley. I thought this was a lot of fun. It was something super different. The Halloween vibes were super cool. Even like the clowns, I was kind of like, what the fuck? Why is this kind of fun? It was just a fun time. For it being short, I was into the characters. I was into the relationship. I felt that there was good world building. I felt like there was good character set up. And I think it ended at the right point. It took place all over the course of like one night. And I don't think it needed to go beyond that. And it kind of set up to be like, oh, you can kind of decide how you want to think the characters went from there. And I like that personally. I really don't have any complaints for it, honestly. Um, there are certain triggers in here that you need to read for that. There's like a whole long list of them. Personally, I wasn't triggered by any and there are like a lot of kinks in here that again, like just look that up and check. But again, I wasn't bothered by anything. And 
So that's the end for this band Forbidden Taboo reading vlog part two. If anyone wants to see a third part, I am more than happy to do so because I do like doing these. It'll just probably be a few months down the road. I think I need a bit of a break, but let me know any band Forbidden Taboo books that you want me to check out and I would be happy to add them to a list and plan to do them in a future video. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you haven't already checked out the first one that I did, you can check that out on my channel there. I'll try to like link it down below as well. And yeah, I will see you when I see you.